And um, we're going to hear from him. We're going to please sir to give us a testimony. I can give you about 20 minutes. Yes. If you have time. 20 to 25 minutes. If you have time. <laughs> and come and bless the church. Oh. Yeah. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amazing grace. Amen. Will always be my song of praise. It was grace that bought my life. I can the reason why he died for me. He looked beyond. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Thank you, Jesus. Praise Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amazing grace. Always be my son's grace. For it was grace that bought my liberty. Praise the name of Jesus. What would we do without the grace of God? Where would we be without the grace of Almighty God? Praise the Lord. But we thank God for His grace and for His mercy. I thank God for His grace and His mercy towards me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It is Praise the Lord, it's really good and wonderful to be with you here at um, yeah. Mount Coastal. God bless you. Yes. God bless our dear, beloved Pastor Morris. God bless you, sir. It's always good to see you. And if missionary Morris, God bless you. God bless you, missionary Gary, God bless you. Our bishop from America. Yes. God bless you, sir. Oh, yes. God bless you for yes. being here with us. Yeah. Our dear deacon, uh, Dawkins. God, yes, from time to time, we meet up. Praise yes. the Lord. Praise the Lord. And all you wonderful ministers, yeah. saints of God. Yeah. It's good to be in the house of God. Yes. It is really wonderful. Praise the Lord. It is good. And I, I tell you something, I could just go home right now. I'm blessed. Yeah. I'm blessed. I'm full. I'm full. Praise the name of Jesus. Your testimony and your admonition has been a blessing to me. God bless my dear wife with us. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. She calls me her funny honey and I call her my sugar money honey. Praise the Lord. Yes, sir. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. We are Lord. God bless you. Praise the name Praise of you. Jesus. God is good. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the Lord. So on the way here, um, the traffic, as our yes, dear pastor says, was very... She, very heavy and we've spent about 20 minutes or more in the traffic but God knows God knows it's, yes. good. it's good we are here today and we're here to give God glory yes. and we've got to Amen. give God praise because our God is a good God yes. praise the name of Jesus yes. and so much has been said and my heart is blessed and our dear mother there who is 89 my God, God is good. You know, every morning I wake up, I say, Thank God. Yes, sir. I'm alive. Yes. Oh, yes. Listen, it no matter what we lose in this life, yes. you lose your house, you lose your land, you lose everything. Yes. If you have life, yes. Oh, yes. nothing beats life. So when I wake up in the morning and I fall upon my knees and say, Thank God. Give him the glory. Alive. Hallelujah. Pastor was singing. He was just there in time to rescue me. He was right on time. Amen. He was right on time. He yes. was never late, Bishop. No. He not right. It cannot be late. No. But we serve a God who can't be late. Amen. We rush here. We rush there. We watch the clock. Mm -hmm. God no need to do all that. No. God have more time than time. So because of that, it can't be late. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. What a wonderful God we serve. Yes. Yes. Hey, heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. And heaven and earth adore him. You know, because of what Jesus did, the Bible says that. Jesus, because of the joy Hallelujah. that was set before him, yes. endured yes. the cross, yeah. despising yes. shame, yes. that he may be on the right hand of power of God. Yes. And because of that, he was given a name. Oh, praise the Lord. Which is above every name. Oh, yes, sir. That at the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Every knee. Oh. Every knee. The Bible says of things in the heavens. Yes, sir. And things on earth. Yes. And things beneath the earth. Yes. 
Hallelujah. Bless the name. You see the godless of pastor. You see the godless of. We're not this not did us this God not joke. Mm -hmm. You know something? I read the whole in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And it's only one place we see that Jesus God laughs. Hallelujah. It says God laughs. Why does the heathen rage? And imagine a vain thing. The kings of the earth yes. assembled, said, Let us see the God anointing. They want to hit us, they want to touch us. The Bible says, God loves. At one time, you know, God loves. But our God is a serious God. Yes. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord oh, Jesus. Yes, Praise the name. Yes. He's a serious God because He says what He means and He means what He says. And His word cannot be changed. We can't change His word. We can't twist it. And we can't turn it. It will remain. I want to speak shortly on God gave me. Ephesians um, chapter 5. I want yes. to read a few verses yes. from Ephesians. Yes. Hallelujah. And um, this is Paul's letter to the Ephesians church. Yes. I'm going to read from Ephesians chapter 5. And I'm going to read from verse 13 down. Um, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If we know about Ephesians church, um, it was about... 15 to 20 years after Jesus died, Paul went to Ephesus yes, and formed the church. And he made many pastors and taught them how about the word of the Lord. The Ephesian church was a very serious church. They were a very strong spiritual church. Yes, yes, they were. And they were very faithful. Mm -hmm. And they were very patient. And they had a lot of good things said about them. However, in Revelation, Jesus says, I know your patience and your work and your tribulations and all that you have do, done. Yeah. And, uh, but he knows. But yes, he knows. Yes. So whatever happened in the church, Jesus knows. Yes. He knows. Yes. But yes, he said, I have one little thing against you. I have one thing against you. Mm -hmm. You've left your first, first love. love. Yeah. So Paul, yeah. after establishing the church, you know, Paul was very busy, busy. Very when busy. God called him and when he was converted. Yeah. Paul didn't have the time to rest. He was going from one place to another. Just yeah. keep taking yeah. one place to yes. another, yes. establishing the church. God used him in a mighty way. When God saved Paul. And I remember one time he was preaching and he wanted to finish his message. So he was preaching very late. And there was this man, if, if you saw yeah. satin, Sitting on the wall. Yes, on the wall. And he must preach so long and fall asleep. How far long? I'm dead. Yeah. You know, I'm Paul went down and hug him up. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm, and he come and yeah. you see, oh God, good. Listen, nothing can go wrong in church. You know, nothing can go wrong in church, no. That's some people say, listen, why this church have this and there's no perfect church. Some people can't go to church because some say this church is this and this, you know, them do this and they say this and this. they're looking for a perfect church. There's no perfect church. You know why? Because Jesus says, let the wheat and the tears. So you know in the church there will be wheat and tears. Uh, some of you know about Jamaica, then our coach. Sometimes you have our coach in a church, you know. You don't remember coach. <laughs> That's so we call it nothing. Yeah. Very much. <laughs> Very scratchy. But I saw the church go. So anybody say they can't go to church because of this and that? No, man. Mm -hmm. The church, the Bible says, forsake not the yes. assembly together. Together, together as the manner of some so, is. Yes. You know? So Paul was writing here mm -hmm. to the Ephesian church. Mm -hmm. And I'm going from, from the circus. It's 13. He says, He says, but all things are reproved. All things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whosoever doeth makes things manifest in the light. Wherefore he said, awake he that sleepeth. 
and arise from the dead and Christ will give you light. You know, so a lot of people are walking darkness. Yeah, and a lot of dead people walking. <laughs> a lot of dead people walking. See then that he walks circumspectly, not as fool, but as wise. Redeeming the time. Because the days are evil. Evil. The days Paul said it to the Ephesians mm. because a lot of things was going on yes. a lot of rumblings mm -hmm. a lot of dispute mm -hmm. a lot of this, a lot of that but they were they were patient and they were they endure persecution and so forth mm -hmm. and they work, they labor you know like you go to church you know Mr. Service, that kind of thing labor, labor so God was pleased with that but Paul is saying here mm. that arise, mm. you sleep it. Mm -hmm. Arise, he that sleep it. And arise from the dead. Christ. And Christ will give you light. Yes, yes sir. Yeah. You know, without light, we're in darkness. Yes. Yes. Very true. You know, the world is in darkness right now. Mm -hmm. Because without Christ, without Christ, the world is in darkness. It's, you know, you see people walking about, but unless they know God, they know Christ, they're in darkness. And they're destined on the broad road that leads to destruction. But Paul is trying to tell the Ephesians, you've got to be careful. You've got to be wise. You've got to not be sleeping. You've got to stay awake. Your eyes have to be open. You have to know the word of God. You have to serve God in spirit and in truth. But redeeming the time. The days, the days. Redeeming the time. The days. How we redeem the time? With so much things is going on around us. You know what I'm saying? We must hold fast with that which is good. So basically there's good and bad. But our duty is to hold to the good and push away from the bad. That's what he's saying. Redeeming the time. Look what time we're into today. Look at the condition of the world. Look at the wars. Wars now stop. War can't stop. It can't stop because God says war, we will see war, war, and rumors of war. So we can't stop war. But we need to redeem the time. Yeah. Things are going on and people are accepting so much compromise in the church these days. And sometimes you see not a lot of people in church because Pastor Morris is not going to compromise. So because he's not compromising, the church may not be full. But if he compromise, the church will be full. Yes, man. Agree with certain things that the world wants, the church will be full. But if you say no, if you have a standard, the world can't take the standard. The world can't manage a standard of holiness, of righteousness. You tell people they must dress certain way. And they say, I'm not going to church, I want to show me like, hold me like, hold me like, hold me like. Praise the Lord. But we have to do the things according to the word of God. We have to follow the word of precept. Upon Christ's bishop, line upon line. That's how we work. That's how the world. That's how the word, word of God is. We have to follow the word. We are living in perilous times. The Bible says, in the last days, evil men will wax worse and worse. So basically, good, evil will not get better. Evil will get worse and worse. And because evil will get worse and worse, we, evil will find new ways to try to entrap us. But God. But God. Yes. God is on our side. Yes. The songwriter said, if it had not been for the Lord. For the Lord. Oh, and, uh, where, where would I be? Yeah. Where would we be? Oh, yes. oh, praise the name of Lord. Lost in the world. Full of sorrow. Yes. Without Jesus. Yes. Where would we be? So Paul is telling the Ephesians, walk wise. 
not as fool, circumspectly, circumspectly. We can't accept everything we hear. We can't join with the world. You know what is going on in the world now. I just say, everything that is right is wrong. The world has accept right for wrong, good for bad. Everything that is right is wrong. Everything according to the word of God. They normalize same-sex marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm. Wherever you hear that, (laughs) and some church people are accepting it. (laughs) Some church people are accepting same-sex marriage. Mm -hmm. And that woman can be married to woman. Man can marry. We can't accept that. That's not in the word of God. We have to plead the blood against it. Yes. And we have to stand up against it. Yes. You know? Daniel had to stand up. We had to pray. Mm-hmm. And they said to Daniel, listen. Mm-hmm. They said to the king, they want to find fault in Daniel. Daniel was walking circumspectly. Yes. 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 Why he was walking circumspectly? The kings and the princes could not find any fault in him. Mm-hmm. They said there's no fault. We can find in Daniel. Mm-hmm. But, but let us find against his God. And they found out he was praying. And they said, let us tell the king to make a decree that if he pray to anyone except the king, anyone who pray to anyone except the king will be cast into the lion's den. And they made a decree. And the king signed it. Yes. And the law of the Medes and Persian cannot be altered. So once the king put his signature there, it can't change. No. Even though the king did want to change it, yeah. but he couldn't change it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, praise the Lord. So, brethren, where we stand up for a standard, God will stand with us. Yes. Yeah. When we stand for the standard, God will stand with us. Yes. Daniel stands for the standard yeah. because he knew mm-hmm. that he had the duty to pray to the Almighty God. Yeah. And no man. That's no man. No man can stop us from talking to God. Nothing. No man. No man. Many years ago, I say my testimony. About 30 years ago, I was in St. Thomas. And I was held up by some gunmen. I'm telling you, I have to give a testimony. The three of them came into the house. I had a gun, tied around there, and back lying down on the floor, matching knife up my throat. I was looking in the face of dead pastor, mm. one full hour. Mm. You know when you are looking in the face of death? Death, that's right. You know when you are looking in the face of death? So much things coming away. You know when you're looking in the face of death? That means death is here right in front of you. Any minute now. It was so bad I could see myself in the greener. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I could actually see myself tomorrow in the greener. A man get killed in St. Thomas. Lord of mercy. Looking in the face of death one hour. God. The boy had him say, if you open your mouth, I'll bust your throat. Mm-hmm. If you open your mouth, I'll bust your throat. Mm-hmm. I say, you can't stop me from talking to that. I said, Lord Jesus, you see my condition. You have the power. I'm mm-hmm. talk to God. Yes. They couldn't stop me from talking to God. Mm-hmm. No one's supposed to stop us from talking to God. Amen. No man, no man. Yeah. No powers, yeah. principalities, yeah. powers, yeah. spiritual wickedness yeah. in high places. Uh, oh, yes. Anytime, anytime. Can't stop me from talking to God. Yes. Can't. Mm-hmm. That's the power we have. Amen. Praise the Lord. So Paul says, Awake from the dead, and Christ will give you light. Yes. Open your heart, and God will fill us mm-hmm. with wisdom, yeah. with understanding. Mm-hmm. Open our hearts, and God will bless us more than we can imagine. Mm-hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. See that He walk circumspectly, not as fools. A lot of people get carried away yes. by. You know, diverse doctrine. You know, there's everybody have their own. You know how much doctrine? You know how much church is forming different nomination in this world? Maybe about three thousand or more. Different. Everybody know God. 
Everybody can see God. Everybody can show us about God. Everybody can know God. But the Bible says, Paul says, if any man, even an angel, preach another gospel, come down and preach another gospel than that which we preach, let him be a curse. So we have to stay in the gospel. Yeah. Anytime we move out of the gospel, yes, from under you know, anytime we move out, we move out of the word of God, we are in danger. Mm -hmm. We're in jeopardy. Yes. So we have to stick in the word of God. We have to stick in the word. Jesus is the foundation of the church. You have to build upon the foundation. Mm -hmm. And Jesus gave the commandments to the apostles. Mm -hmm. The apostles that came up, they were disciples, they became apostles. Mm -hmm. And they carried the gospel. The gospel which we teach is the apostolic gospel, Amen. which Jesus gave us. Yes. Repentance, baptism, and receiving the Holy Ghost. Because it's one God. Yes. It's not two God. It's one God. And I know his name. Amen. So we deem in the time. When I look at what's going on in the world with all the war, mm. and when I see the, 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 the different politicians and what's going on, and when I see how one politician trying to kill the other one, mm. <laughs> like how them shoot mm. after Trump and, <laughs> and lick him ears. Mm. I got saved him, you know? Yeah. And I'm glad he said God saved him. He said God saved him. God save him. Imagine that a man shooting at you and just kick your ears. Yeah. How much farther, a couple inches yeah. later, he'd be gone. Mm. But God, yeah. God has a plan. God is in control. Yeah. And I'm glad he was able to say, God deliver him, God yeah. save him. But the times we're into, brethren, we're in some perilous times. The Bible says, in the last days, perilous times shall come. Men shall be high-minded, boasters, mm -hmm. lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of God. That's what we're seeing. How did they know two how did they know two thousand years ago that we'll be seeing what we're seeing now? And Jesus says, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be at the coming of the Lord. You know, I saw a picture, I actually saw a picture of hell. I saw a picture of hell. One day, me and Sister Rose was on, um, I think it was Bruce Grove, and we were, and there was Sunday, we was coming from church, and um, they was having football. And when we look, the two sided of the road, people was packed up from Seven Sisters down to Bruce Grove. You know, it's about a mile, or nearly a mile. Two side of the road, people going to the football match. Yes, sir. And we was the only one going home. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, what is going on today? Nobody now have no heart for God. No. People have a mind and time for everything else. No. But no time for God. No time. So that's why the Bible says he will widen the, the, the hell. Hell gate I go wide. Enlarge the border. Thank you, Bishop. In my go enlarge the border. Bridges. Let us continue serving God, Bridges. Yes. Let us redeem the time. Amen. Let us. That's the word that God gave me. Give me. That we must redeem the time. Yes. We must redeem the time. Yes. We can't change yes. nothing. We can't change. The, we can't tell Putin of a fire and gun, Dan. And we can't tell, uh, we can't tell the other man, the Joe Biden. We can't tell them nothing. Because the Bible says there will be wars and rumors of wars. We can't stop it. But what we can do is redeem the time. God bless you, my brethren. God bless you. I turn back over to you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.